Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20 Carbs and the carbs have no grains in them. I got a question and um, from a new pickle and she was asking about um, the Ortega um, you know the products, those corn flat things that they have and um, it was under 20 but you know you can understand how if you're new the um, and you come from for I don't know if she comes from a Weight Watcher background but if you come from a Weight Watcher background you know your mind says I can have whatever I want as long as it's under the amount of smart points I get every day keto isn't like that keto is giving up all grains and all sugars and um, not having them even if they fit the carbs are used for veggies, some cheeses will have um, carbs sometimes. Um, sometimes you might even have a few organic berries, maybe. But definitely, um, some people some people do um, like a fathead pizza with coconut flour, almond flour. Those sort of things perhaps have carbs in them. I know they have a lot of fiber to offset them. But that won't throw you out of keto if you're under 20 carbs a day. But you can't have wheat grains or any of the gluten-free items and no sugars whatsoever. So just be mindful of that. If you're keto, you're keto. And if you're not keto, um, with all the high fat and grains, you could put, put yourself into a gaining position. And I definitely don't want to see that happen to you. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of education that's needed for jumping into keto. And, um, on the Keto Adaptation Facebook page, there are many um, many podcasts from Dr. Eric Westman. You can also find many podcasts by Dr. Eric Westman on um, YouTube as well. And many other keto um, doctors. Um, Abel James is keto. He's not a doctor, but he's written books. He does a podcast. He interviews fabulous people. Um, Dave Asprey who um, is a Bulletproof Coffee Man, and um, he too, and he has, he has a road map. You can get it from him. I think it's like $8, and, um, you know, it's, it's the same but different. It's set up with um, the colors, the zones that are safe for you, and the other ones that are don't ever go near, never, ever, ever. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you have to be very careful when you're keto. Because otherwise it turns into the standard American diet if you're having fats with grains. Because that's, that's what got a lot of us here. We wanted to give up the grains and the bloat and the headache and um, all of the things that grains can do to our body. But you can't have it with a boatload of fat. Then you're, you're right back where you started from. I don't know if any of anybody of you any of you saw this um, Dr. Oz thing on how to give up your addiction to sugar, and it was very very interesting. And um, the new nutritional labels will be coming out. I don't know how soon, but I remember I did a podcast of those labels a long time ago. But I will do an upgrade because it's an update because it's definitely worth it. And um, so he was talking about giving up sugar, and he had a uh, one label. I don't even know what the item was, but he put it up on the thing and you know how they can circle the things like on a whiteboard and it it's like you know the good old days with those great big sheets of paper with um highlighters where you could circle things and um there were five or six different kinds of sugar in the item and so it, sugar didn't show up the word sugar and all the other different names for sugar didn't show up until after a few items had been listed well, isn't that just another place where the food manufacturers dupe you? If you don't know what mannitol is and dexatran and all the other ones that, um, you know, sometimes they, they mix the um, chemical sugars with the chemical artificial sweeteners all in the same food item. Blah! And so you really have to know, you have to know the language of sugars because they don't want you to know it because then they can do like what they did on this item. Hide it in all these places, but if they put sugar, you'd go, whoa, 
No way! Not having it! But if it's like fifth or sixth in the list of items, you could just be duped. And no, artificial um, sweeteners don't have carbs, but they have horrible, toxic chemicals. And Splenda, for one, never leaves your body. It just stays in your body and you just keep building on it. So do your research on artificial sweeteners if you still have to have them. And definitely be aware that there's like something like 56 to 58 different names for sugar. They don't care about your health. Haven't we already talked about that? Mm-hmm. So I did my overnight last night and my overnight the night before. And I just went to that faraway um, grocery store market basket and dropped a hundred plus and came back with all my grass-fed organic goodies and um, oh what fun it is and um, I wish you could be here in the house with me I've got my Martha Stewart um, stock pot going it's turquoise I love it and it's filled with turkey bones so I am making a turkey bone broth I will get four um, rather large um, mason jars of bone broth out of it for myself and then the rest I will make into turkey noodle soup for Greg and his crew to have because it's winter and it's cold. And that makes me very happy. Um, and so I've put together my food for the day and I will show it to you for illustration and um, we'll go from there. Hold on. So today is Martin Luther King Day. Did I do it too far? I went too far. There it is. Monday, January 16th. Okay. And so um, my calories for the day, I just monitor them. I don't really pay attention too much, but I always seem to land in the 1500 plus range. And that's what it is today. 1531. So this morning at 0, 100 hours, 1 a.m., I had my Bulletproof coffee. Why not? I'm there. And then I had a tea um, with a half a pot of, pat of butter in it, hence the um, butter. And then at, excuse me, at five I had another um, regular coffee latte uh, done too with another half a tablespoon of butter. And um, so that's what I had while I was working overnight. I've made the pact with myself not to eat. It's too easy. And they have so much food there for the for all of us like Chinese food and Italian food and sometimes pizzas and oh yeah so it's just easier for me to say no because if I was home I wouldn't be eating at three in the morning so I don't want to eat at three in the morning there <laughs> I want to get home and eat in my jams when I'm done with work and done with the grocery shopping so hence the three tablespoons of cream I had easy crack slaw I had a half a serving and then I put one tablespoon of coconut organic Kalapo oil into it. And I will have, it just says chicken bone broth, but it will be turkey bone broth in a couple of hours. I am going to go down for a little nappy poo. For dinner tonight, I made the Mississippi roast. And um, I put the carrots in the enamel cast iron pan pot that I cooked it in. So I'm going to be having four ounces of the it's Nature's Promise grass-fed chuck roast. I'm having four ounces of that. I am having a half a cup of um, organic carrots that were cooked with the roast. I am having a smallish salad, three ounces of red leaf head, red leaf um, lettuce. And I'm having one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil on that. And I'm also having a quarter of a serving of avocado chopped up. And that grand thing comes to the 1531 calories so then we go over here to the macros and today I'm having 136 grams of fat which is 80 percent of my plan for the day and I like it it fills me up and I'm right there at that 20 20 carbs I'm having 19.2 carbs 5.2 or fiber I am not sub subtracting them as yet I am having 60 grams of protein so my macros are 80, 5, and 15. And I like it like that. So that's the deal here. And um, 
if you are new to this program and um, and say you ask me a question and I don't get back to you, I Google things. I, I will Google a question if I can't find it on some keto website or podcast where perhaps my issues will be answered. But um, keto is a grain-free, sugar-free program. And I started with Dr. William Davis's book, Wheat Belly, read that, gave up wheat and sugar in the month of August 2015, and then in the month of September, I read his Total Health, Dr. Davis's Total Health, and gave up all grains, including oats, um, just because they're kind of suspect to me. To me, other people can have them, and um, and the sugar. So then I did high fat, low carb, and I had lots of veggie carbs, but not anything grainy, nothing gluten free, nothing grainy, and um, and then. I did that for a few months, uh, no, over a year, well over a year, about 14 months. And then um, approximately five or six weeks ago, I went keto, low carb, under 20 per day, and tightened up the whole magilla, and I'm so happy I did. So, um, yeah, keto means no grains and no sugar. So it doesn't mean you can fit whatever you want into the 20 carbs. Um, it means that you have 20 carbs to use for um, veggies most of the time and make sure you put lots of either grass-fed butter or coconut oil or olive oil or avocado oil or macadamia nut oil onto these items because the veggies, you will absorb more of the nutrients with the fat. Isn't that wonderful? And it'll also keep your macros um, in a good place, like with me having the salad with the avocado and the olive oil, and then having the fatty piece of meat, the fatty cut of the piece of meat, and um, and then the carrots were cooked in the the fat bubbling around the um, roast when it cooked. So, I hope you are tracking and drinking your water and getting um, having all your foods match what's in your tracker. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me. Um, you know, it, it, there's stuff that becomes um, obvious as we go along, but we're, we're new to it, especially if we come from a Weight Watcher background. We're used to being able to fit in something. So say I wanted a roll with pasta for dinner, and I had six smart points left. That roll might fit. It might not. I, have to, I might have to cut it in half. But that's not the keto food plan. The keto food plan is very, very clean. Meats, cheeses, fish, veggies, carbs under 20, lots of healthy fats, using a lot of salt, and um, having a lot of water. Yeah, yeah. So, ask any question you ever need to ask. Um, hopefully, I can avert a disaster. And um, have a wonderful rest of your day. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, under 20 carbs. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye for now.